what you need to do is just get a toilet paper tube. You're going to cut this evenly in half. So right in the middle. There we go. Now, oh, so you got, let's see, how, how long is this? It's almost, you know, it's about two inches in length. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut at the bottom of the tube there about three quarter of an inch slits and you'll want to cut them symmetrically so one in this side or two one in this side this side and here in right on the bottom and we're going to cut in three quarter of an inch inward okay you have these four slits and i made them three quarter of an inch deep now what you're going to do is you're going to start folding this in to seal the bottom so you're going to start to fold the top here first you can start any side you want and then this side you can see that the bottom up and the last one would be this um, to my left okay so you have that you don't need tape what you're gonna do now is you're gonna tuck in this corner underneath this piece here to lock it in place so I'm just gonna kind of like when you close the box oops oops okay there we go I think got it so that closes the bottom of your seat starting pot and there you have it and that could be your drain hole obviously it's going to drain through anyway because it's cardboard so you can just actually take this straight into your garden so after you have your seed starts you can just put in the soil and leave it in this pot and the roots will eventually grow out or you can just open this up just like that before you put it in the ground and you know the roots will make its way to the soil anyway so um, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, idea and found it helpful. Well, one more thing I'm going to show you is if you're going to start your seeds indoors is save your cake containers. Um, I usually save all these you know, containers that I get from work or from the party that we had this weekend. We had a lot of containers like those big sandwich platters with a dome. You don't need to buy those. You, if you can get them for free from friends and family, take them. I always ask them to save it for me and they set it aside. So these are very useful for seed, seed starting um, dome the, um, indoors. And once you start your seeds in here, you want to keep this dome closed. You can punch some holes on top for ventilation, but after they germinate, you can go ahead and take off the lid. And I'll be doing that soon. I'll be recording a video in the near future when I start my seeds. It's a little too early. Um, we, it's gonna be cold until middle of uh, April, and today it got down to around 16 degrees, so it was really, really cold. So I'm not gonna start my seeds too early. I might start some next week though. So, but anyways, I just want to say thank you and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today and idea. If you have any comments or suggestions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in with us. Again, my name is Misella and we'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.